Welcome back to more Man of Lords action. We continue where we left things off last time, and it is an oh so dreary, wet day in Man of Lords. It's actually kind of fairly sunny outside in England today. It could confuse the weather. Oh, this is summer. A very, very typical English summer, it could well be, actually. Um, and the weather in the game. But yeah, finally, it's time to crack on with some development in Isengard. We're not going to worry too much about Leondis today. I'm kind of leaving them to their to their lot in life now. We started upgrading the the village. It's now actually a small town, which is nice. We've got we've got the tier 3 buildings in there. We've kind of achieved lots of we've learned lots of stuff as we've gone on. So certainly when I look to start my new series in a couple of weeks time once they release um a patch, hopefully that's out in a few weeks time. Um you know, I'll I'll be able to build quite differently and hopefully not run into some of the issues that I've run into with this. Uh, also because I'll be on the kind of actual release version of, of the game as well, not the early access, early access content creator build, which I'm currently on just so the save stays alive. But yeah, I'm happy with everything we've achieved so far. We've got flour and grain coming up through that. Did we actually... Did we, he says, I'm not going to do anything here. Comes back and goes, have we built some bakeries? Fletcher. That's the brewery. That's the brewery. That's got chickens. I don't think I made any... Did I not make any bakery plots? I could build communal ovens, yeah, but bakeries are like more efficient, aren't they? windmill there i guess would they would they go and get the resources from here the flower from here if i built the houses right up there and you've got some bread but it's because we're importing it i'm looking at surplus right now um those are all chickens yeah i don't think i built any bakeries so it says we're going to focus on Isengard. Starts looking for bakeries here. At least we just need more wealth here, actually. We're doing so much trading. So we'll come back in a little bit, see if we've done anything. Yeah, I, think, I don't think I've built any bakeries. <coughs> I mean, let's... We could build some bakeries here. Or some houses here. To set them up to be the bakeries. We're a long way away from all this, but can't really help much. Oh, we've got a burgers plot level two there. Oh, hang on. We could probably do it from the... Why does that one not have an industry? Is it because it's too small? Oh, no. The reason why we haven't built bakeries is because I haven't got the development branch for bakeries yet. That'll do it. Probably need the one baker, though. Maybe, yeah, maybe, to be fair. Um, okay, we'll come back here, then. We'll come back here, because there's. we just need to wait till there's some gold. But I don't know if I've killed their kill their gold with all their truck with all the trade i mean let's just have a quick little look see if there's anything we can do to adjust some of the trades that we're making we're exporting cloaks and shoes any imports that we can turn off we're exporting all of that we're trying to make money we're trying to export all the war bows because we are a lord of war arms dealer settlement we're exporting our apples. We are importing barley. So that should be our only cost. We should gain gold from all the plots as well. We are trying to import a little bit of barley. 
and roof tiles, but we already hit our surplus. So yeah, we should it should over time work out. So let's just leave it. A quick little look over at Covington. You guys are all set nicely. Plenty of bread. Got loads of loads of planks. Oh, that shares the reserve across both. That's good. Cool. Right. Let's just get the mercenaries. Uh, you know, what? actually, I'm going to leave the mercenaries here because the bandits seem to be spawning constantly there. So let's just leave them there for now. Right. We were going to try and get some barley over to here as well, though, weren't we? All plots are occupied. We were going to have another barley farm here, weren't we? And then just ship it straight across the border to these guys. Because that's what they need if we ever wanted tier three. We need to get the tavern in there because we've already got yeah we've got all we've already got all the food supplied and we just have to upgrade the church. Why haven't I upgraded the church? Oh, roof tiles. Yeah, we're going to do that with clay from here. Yeah, let's let's just set Cubbington up with this and then we can kind of move away from it. Um, barley. It tracks back quite well all the way over here, actually, isn't it? Maybe we could have maybe we have the farm over there be more, more space. We could start here, though, couldn't we? So we could, we what we could do is we could pop the houses in here. Something I'd like to try when we do our new run um, is make our first uh, settlement have a circular start and like kind of spokes going out from the center. Because I saw someone build a rather efficient start. I'm not all about efficiencies, but I quite liked how they did it where they had their market right in the center. I've kind of done it around my church in this in Isengard, but they essentially had their market right in the center, which is kind of what I've tried to do there. And that worked really well for helping distribution throughout their, their run. So that's what I'd like to try and do. I'm just going to swap the headset battery over. Right. Let's get some houses in. So many in there. That's some really interesting plots. Yeah, just chuck them in like that. That's fine. And then I also want a, a farmhouse. when these people when they get families in there I'm going to specifically assign those families to that I'm not going to build the f specify that they just stay working there because otherwise it moves them about a bit. Okay, then I should be able to build the field here.
And then we'll also want... Pack stations there to take stuff straight across. And a storehouse as well. <coughs> so we'll let all that develop there. See if we can get things over to Isengard. But what we're going to be doing over here... Work area is empty. Yeah, we'll take one off that. We've got plenty of food, though. We've got plenty of shoes. Yeah, and leather. industry going. Can I have multiple pits working on it? Probably don't need more than one, do I? Okay, second kid. Let's fast forward it and get that stuff built. We've got the clay furnace. Yes, I was thinking of popping a load of them. Making a bit of an industrial estate. Well, I've not done that particularly well through here. Damn it, bandits. my mercenaries over there to go deal with them if we can okay and we can make it a deep mine definitely And then we want clay furnace, because that's clay to clay tiles. Needs to be refueled. Yeah, that's fine. We've got plenty of fuel.
We can export roof tiles as well, actually. That's, that's quite a good one. So let's get two of them. And then iron ore to iron slabs. We actually we don't have anything for iron slabs, do we? Apart from like tools. Or spears and sidearms, yeah. <coughs> that probably need it, but we don't. I mean, we could we we could make more t more weapons, but we don't need to anymore, do we? So, uh, what does that sell for if we were to sell it? Iron slab four. I actually need the mine, but we're going to do it anyway. Get it going. Here we go. Woodcut as well. So let's whack more people in that. Oh, forest is hot. Let's get more people going for that. Let's reforest that area for now. Because they've been cutting away at this side, so we'll cut that down. Keep them going. Get some roof tiles going. Guys probably could benefit from another stable. Let's fast forward a bit while we're waiting for that. You guys have made some gold. Good, good, good. But we can't get another development point for bakeries. Where is it? It's yeah, that one there. Can't do that until we've got six more tier three houses, which we need the tavern supply. Yeah, tavern supply is the shortfall. Barley yet. You're waiting because there's no barley to take. You guys don't have enough wealth for me to get any mules in here. Get level three. And they've obviously just got some ale in the tavern. Yeah, six ale. Nice. Not enough roof tiles now. So now we'll need to wait for some more roof tiles to be imported because we haven't set up clay or anything like that over in this one. That is fine. Isengard, yes. I think that'll be our industrial zone that we have crafted and created. Plenty of flour. So we should be able to get some bread going. Once we've got the, uh, the right thing. Yeah, we just need more tiles. That's fine. We've got a few more on the go. Come back to it in a bit. The mine, the deep mine is ready. Yeah, it's a bit far away there. 
So what I'm going to do is also put some new houses in. Close by that we can then switch the families to. It's something I'll try and do more in my next playthrough as well. Definitely try and be more mindful of where... where I'm uh, building houses and also go through and assign people to them. So that they're close to their jobs, ideally. Same thing over by the iron mine. <coughs> it matters more so in keen kind of keeping that balance between um it's meant to be a veggie plot, is it? Expand living space. It's not like you've done those, are those your veggies through? They've just also got grass coming up through it. Um, but yeah, it matters more when you're, if you're trying to keep like what your backyard industry is. So if you've got loads of veggies, then you don't want people walking from one end of the village to the other to their job. So then walk all the way back and then expect them to also be able to get a good a good amount of time spent doing production in, in their backyard for veggies. So if you can keep them all close together, it also means there won't be a bottleneck with them not completing their job as well. Because otherwise you get into a situation where you're like, why am I low on this resource? And you'd be like, I've got people stationed there. Why aren't they doing their work? And it's because they're spending more time at home in their burgage plot trying to tend to their tend to their veggies and what have you. So yeah, it does, it does help to every so often just go in and just check where people are actually working. And then if you need to, reassign family to a different workplace. Just shuffle them around for, you know, just be a little bit more efficient. We just need more people to come on in here. Thankfully, we've got 100% approval, so that is A-OK. -okay. We're going to be starting to bring in what clay, aren't we now, as materials? Thirteen clay. Yeah, so we should be able to put someone in here. God, you can have loads of people in the clay furnace. <coughs> Something I've not bothered in this playthrough at all anywhere is going for charcoal. Is I'm assuming charcoal is just more efficient than firewood, right? Why well, am I putting people in the fur in the furnace? <laughs> Burn them. It's the fires of industry. So they're harvesting, but they're out in these fields. Oh no, they're coming, they're coming, right, they're coming from their homes. So yeah, actually what I really should do here is have the people that live here reassign. Because his workplace is, is that farm over there. <coughs> this is really not optimal. <clears throat> um, I'm going to select your farmhouse to be there. Yeah, you're all you're all over there. You need to be assigned to this one. Right, you're assigned there already. Reassign you to that one.
Right, yeah, so you're set to that one. So reassign you to that one. Then you've got six. You've got six. You've only got four. One that lives over there. That's not too far to go. One that lives there. One that lives there. And one that lives there. That's fine. That should work a little bit more optimally, getting people out into the field to get their harvest in. Because, yeah, when I start to get barley, which means you guys should be transporting. And you'll be taking your barley over to Leondis. Got some wheat. Got a load of flour, which is good. We're still waiting for these to build up, are we? Have we got more roof tiles? We do have more roof tiles, so we could maybe upgrade even a few more. Don't have enough regional wealth. Nah, of course. Let's go off those bandits. I reckon if we move here, we should see them come out of the trees to us. Come. Ready yourselves for battle. Fire at will. Which ones will? Doesn't matter. Finish them. You clear out their camp. You just gained a load of gold. That was you guys over here. Nice for your trades. You've got enough to upgrade now. We've got six. Not enough roof tiles again. That's working out nicely. Look at that, look at that main street now. Going up in the world. Those archers didn't get nerfed. Uh, none of my archers are nerfed because I'm not on the public build of the game. I'm on the content creator one still. So that my save game would still work. Here we got three roof tiles. How much do we need for up upgrading this? Ten. that's needed for level two to three is the church level and also the tavern supply.
Lots of barley stored up. Once, the, once these guys get families. And then we'll set them all up here. Your pantry's full. Too many vegetables. You can actually start selling vegetables. Let's keep a surplus of 200 veggies. I'd say sell some berries, but... Mm, let's leave it. Definitely export our roof tiles once we've got... Well, 96! Damn! Loads of clay. The piper is going hard on this. Let's get some more bits going. Some houses being built, so yeah, we'll move them onto the clay furnace, I think. Getting a bit of gold selling our veggies. Oh, the forager's hut. Why? Oh, right, it's stuff that's stored there. Can't be out. Got any more roof tiles? Yeah, we do. One's going under construction there. One over there. One over there. So we just need one more then. <coughs> there we go. That should get us our four more tier threes. One there, one there, and that tailor shop. Got barley in. Looks like we've just about managed to get it. It's kind of a janky solution, but we've managed to do it. Happy with that. Eight done. That one's nearly done. That one's nearly done. Then we can get a bakery going. Yeah, that's good. We've made a good recovery considering this was on fire not too long ago. Way there we go. We're now a medium town, so a large town. Is that the, that's the highest level, I think, isn't it? That's te uh, 15 level 3 burgage plots. Right, go for the bakery. Because that's what we're going to pop in over here. That can be upgraded to level 3, although it doesn't do anything for us. But yeah, sure, we'll go for it. Make that a bakery as well. Bakery. It's going to be overkill, but hey, if we make extra bread... Oh no, what a terrible shame. Uh, we'll put chickens in here. Because I think three bakeries is probably enough. But there should be a decent bit of flour stockpiled up. So let's hope the bakeries get going. Because that will also sort out 
a lot of these guys complaining about food. Well, they didn't have enough food variety, wasn't it? But we've actually now got loads of different types of food. Surplus wise, we've got meat, vegetables, berries, eggs, and what well, I'm hoping apples counts towards that. <coughs> hmm. So we'll also have bread in there when the meat drops off and the berries at the low seasons. The only other thing we could do is get some honey in there. Get that one upgraded as well, because then we have a lovely high street. Wonderful. How have we got people in here? Not yet. Oh, they are unassigned. Cool. Set those guys to the deep mine. But yeah, unassign everyone and then come in here and go, in you go. That's fine. Yeah, that's perfect. You're right where you need to be. Home's over there to go that way. Uh, it's not terrible. probably be into the logging camp but it's a fairly short walk for you we can upgrade the church now let's do that to a stone church <coughs> haven't built a manor here and kind of haven't done it on I've, I've done it on purpose almost not building one just because i kind of feel like that will obviously hit our... Well, it will only hit our approval when we're taxing them, to be fair. But we could have another mana. It would give us another retinue, actually, for the final final fight, which is probably going to be in one more stream. For that, we need stone. So let's get some more stone going, then. Can you become king? Uh, no. You're you're a mana lord. Um, so, I mean, I would think, like, managing, like, if the map expands out like this, and this is roughly the same sort of size map, but in different scenarios and settings, you'd probably be, like, a, a count, maybe up to, like, a baron, or maybe, like, a duke would ever be, like, the highest level or something like that. Um, I would assume, though, likely in the kind of final finished version when you there's maybe perhaps some like narrative events and stuff you're going to get things like the king requests 200 bread to supply his troops for the war in france or something like that and you have to fit um you know you have you have to send off extra bits and you'll get some gold for it or something like that'd be kind of cool But yeah, it's very much um, village and town lord only. Raising your little militia. Uh, so we had that, yeah, they was thinking we'd build the manor. At that end of the village, I mean, we could, we could probably fit it in here. We don't really need it all walled up. We could have an unwalled manor. Because right now it doesn't really matter, to be honest, does it? have it like right here pretty much we just need some more stone Loads of roof tiles. It's good that we're selling all that. Let's fast forward it again. 
UI looks great. Yeah, it's it's a really nice UI. I'm really happy with it. Very, very clean and like everything expands out when you click on it nicely and gives you this big wide view. It's nice. Very satisfying. Winter is coming. Whilst doing that, let's head back over here. Have we now got... We've got lots of barley. Oh, loads of barley in. Good. So it should mean lots of malt, which should equal... Where is it going to be? It's going to be commodities. Yeah, lots of ale. Which if we go to our total ones, 14 ale. Yeah, I think we... I mean, we're having our own farms, and even though they're not super efficient and we're not doing it particularly well... It's, it's working. I mean, all we've got is wheat, actually, haven't we? We haven't got any set of barley. But our barley is fully based on our little imports and um, our trading. Wazza. So that is all working, which is good. Oh, you guys are not set up particularly well for winter. Do you need more woodcutters or something? Mm, you've got a reasonable amount. The spare marketplace. Yeah, it should be alright. It'll be alright. How are we doing over here? Is everything set up. Have we got people in here? Yes. Yep. Yep. Amazing. Right, let's assign all of you. To the farm. Uh, actually, yeah, we'll expand all of these because then the second round of families can either support them at the farm or they can take over the storehouse and the pack stations. You are only going to accept barley. Uh, actually, barley in exchange for, I'll tell you what we'll trade it for. Uh, we'll trade it for clay. That's what we'll get into trade. Just over the border. Into the mines you go, new people. Welcome to the village. Off to the mine you go. How's the iron mine? Okay, we've got that all set up. Have we got anyone over here yet? No. When people get there, we can go to the iron mine. Well, the iron mine doesn't matter so much. What matters actually, I would say, is getting that, that stone done. Church is nearly done, though. There we go. A bit concerned about why you guys don't have enough fuel, but... Ah, that's a future me problem, or a next time me problem. in here. Assign them to the deep mine. Into the pit. In you go. Oh, so many roof tiles. Beautiful. 
That's fine. We don't need any more people working in those industries. That's a okay. Uh, tell you what. <coughs> Get them working here. Oh, there's someone in from there. I was wondering if it was a new family from over here. That would make the most sense. Oh, here we go. Yeah, get you guys in that. For now. Need more logs. Oh, no. Need a fuel supply. A uh, fuel stall supply. Yeah, you might be a bit too far away from that marketplace. I just need to build something else over here, perhaps, but... Don't know if it would actually yield anything. Normally because they won't move to another marketplace until they've filled the first one. So we'll have to, have to wait and see. Oh, you guys don't have anyone spare for construction now. you over here but then take you away take you off it I'll move them all in a bit but that gives me some people to help with, uh, with that and then all we need to do is get if, uh, 10 more stone <clears throat> what do you use for food uh food i've got vegetables berries eggs uh in this place mainly through your back backyard plots definitely go build a load of vegetable gardens in your bigger plots and then uh chickens they can go in any plot and then that supplemented with berries and hunting should keep you well supplied early on Berries! Fresh berries! Vegetables end up in the market somehow. So they're probably going straight to the market stall from the... If you click on some of the houses, you'll see that some of them... Some of the people are uh, running a, um, a stall or something like that. So that's how they're probably taking their vegetables straight to the market stall. <coughs> and bypassing the granary. It's kind of only if they've got a surplus that doesn't need to be distributed to the populace that it goes there. Okay, we've got 12 out of 15. No oh, look at all that gold and wealth we've got. Lovely. How much ale have we got? No ale. Okay, but you've got some you've got some ale still being served, which is good. How much bread are we looking at? Five. Upgrade that bakery. Upgrade that one. And upgrade that one. That's our three more that we need to get this to a large town. Lovely. Sit back and enjoy the winter. That sounded like a bandit camp was sighted, yes. Going to war in the winter then. I could claim these extra regions to be honest, but I'm kind of using it just to farm bandits. Which is fine. Got my mercenaries over here. Wait for them to arrive.
Get the unit running. They come. Here they come. Holly! Clear out their camp. Love these little bits where we've now got like the fields almost interconnected across little little bits, and we've got a little the farming section of the village at the end. I love that. That's great. <coughs> Belongs to my treasury now. If these guys could gain XP, they'd be absolute elite troops by now. I've spent so long with them just leveling up. Or leveling up rather uh, fighting bandits. See these other plots finish up. We'll become a large town. The large town of Leondis. With over 303. go settlement level increased that is the maximum settlement level reached boom large town well at least we completed that then with this run that's good don't actually want to know what i'd spend this final point on R rye i guess would be for higher fertility doesn't seem like you need irrigation because doesn't seem to be in any droughts Anything like that occurring within this run? Uh, we could do um, honey because actually I've not seen that in in action. To be honest, better deals, reducing import price, that would make things way cheaper for everything there. I haven't. Has anyone done foreign supplies and found them useful? I don't actually know. Um, I don't know if trapping's actually worthwhile. 
Doubles the amount of meat harvested by hunters. That's pretty. Oh, for, oh, and from goat pens. Ah. Harvested by hunters and butchers. Oh, is a butcher is a butcher shop that way? they uh, planned then, I guess. Advanced skinning butchers, or is that they're classified as butchers if they keep goats? Foreign supplies makes the game too easy because it just gives you a permanent passive income, right? As long as you've got enough regional wealth, though, and food. <coughs> right, I see. Um, yeah, you know, I'm just going to do beekeeping just because I kind of want to see that. How that works. Placing more will not increase yield, so you can only have two. Guess we want it fairly close down to stuff here, I guess. Slap them in, see what happens. Oh, we got loads of stone now. Okay. Into the deep mines. Right, we can build our manor. Which actually, I was going to just slap down here in this region, to be honest. We don't need to build a wall around it. Just have it with its tower. And to increase our retinue size. You can actually place more. <laughs> just for lolzies. Commit. Let's do it just because it'll look cool. Build me a manor. Worthy of Mordor. <laughs> Build me a tower. It will be, in fact, the two towers in Isengard. Ah, ah, ah. go the two tower manor that's pretty cool looking not sure what's happened to the roof there though but we now have a new retinue which Oh, oh, you can actually. Oh, it says that you're only restricted to 12. <coughs> but it keeps increasing my retinue size. Um. Yeah, 
Limit is to one per region. Yeah, limit. Limit reach, but will you actually let me do it? Let me make a little little fortify. Oh, come on. This will be cool. I need more planks then I can commit to it. Oh, that's going to be sick if it'll let me build that. A very big retinue incoming. Yeah, if it, if it keeps letting me build them up to that point. I think I saw somebody else's video which was like, yeah, exploiting the retinues and allowing you to produce silly amounts that way because the tower is actually, even though it says they're limited, they're not actually limited. We need more burgage plots. anyone unassigned to do it so i'm gonna have to drop one of you guys off from the mine crack on with it all <coughs> maybe one per region means total no i mean it shouldn't let me build them I've already got the towers in, in other places. That's quite sick. I can make the final battle just my retinue. I mean, retinues are really, really powerful anyway. Oh, yeah, hang on. How are the bees? Just anyone with any dogs, watch out because dog except on a bee Coming again. Oh, ho, 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 ho. yeah, you don't get a warning after the first year. This time they're not. I'm glad they turned up before I decided to go after the Baron because that would have been brutal again. 
I guess they're going to be heading towards these guys. So we need to assemble my troops. A pronto. Um, we could... Yeah, I mean, we can bring the archer militia. Spear militia. Why is there only 36 out of... Uh, 32 out of 36 ready? Oh, uh, we shortened some shields and some spears. Okay, so we might need to actually order in some more of them. Note to self for next time, which will be our final episode. We'll do one more of this. So long as Cubheart doesn't arrive, Cubheart number two doesn't arrive over the weekend, um, we'll probably try and stream some of this um, Monday um, or Tuesday. Like try and do one more hour-long episode where we will kick things off, facing off against those raiders, uh, getting my troops together, finishing off the little fortification of Isengard, which I'm really liking. And then we will press our claim for the Baron's final region and face his army and have one last battle. I think that'll be a nice way to wrap up this series. Uh, then, as I said, I'll probably be looking to kind of fill the gap um, while I wait for the first patch for Man Lords to kind of deal with some of the kind of um, initial issues that have been flagged and raised that Dev is working on. I'll be looking to do Mana Tours, uh, checking out your guys' villages if you want to send them to me. If nobody sends them to me, then that's fine. We'll take a break from it. Although I have had um, one or two already sent through uh, via my Discord, so feel free to send them through there. Nice and easy for me to find. If you've got a unique village or just something a little bit quirky and different, I'd love to have a cinematic flyover, a stroll through in the visit mode and just see what wonderful creations you guys have come up with. Uh, but yeah, we'll be dealing with these bandits at the start of the next episode. We will raise, I think we'll take the militia footman archers and bring the two retinues up. I might just very quickly, because we've got enough money to do it, if we go to Isengard, uh, we don't actually need to go there. If I go to their retinue here, no, don't rally. If I go customize... I could just get 36 of them. How big can we make this retinue? Massive. I just wish there was a way to very easily pay to upgrade all of them because there isn't a quick shortcut upgrade. You have to go through every single one and oh no i've got so many troops it's such a pain to do but join us next time where we do upgrading my retinue simulator um and then yep yeah, bring them i guess these guys are going to be making a beeline either for isengard or covington so we will try and fight them in the fields or just north of the, of the farming fields of covington uh next time so until then Hope you've all enjoyed watching on YouTube. Tune in for the next one again very soon. Take care and ciao for now.